So, uh, Sunze, we're happy to be with you. And our principal conversation celebrates the very uh, essence of tolerance uh, in religion, of course. You are a senior uh, Islamic cleric and you spend a lot of time sharing the word of Allah in a lot of places. But we are, we are amazed by the fact that you went to St. Uh Tell us that experience 60 years ago. Uh, it's a great pleasure to have attended uh, St. Beats, a Catholic uh, institution. And I was very highly impressed with their nature of tolerance because as a Muslim in Form 1, maybe the only Muslim out of 500 students, uh, they gave me all the facilities, praying five times a day, fasting through the mo the, during the month of Ramadan, and any other feast that uh, required me to celebrate. That made me to become so strong, faith-wise, religious-wise. And if you see me today, see keeping up that spirit is because as I was groomed as a Muslim, I went to St. Bis again, a Christian background, and then they were also practicing the religion the way it's supposed to be. It made me at least to develop a different uh, uh, approach to humanity, understanding that uh, we have just one bond that bounds all together, and that's one parentage, that's Adam and Eve, irrespective of religious, irrespective of uh, uh, color, irrespective of rank, we have just one father and one mother, and that's Adam and Eve. And that is enough for us to create an environment of a culture of uh, living together. Interestingly, you were the only student yes. uh, that, that they take off. Uh, I mean, to you, it does not scare you as a, a, a child from a typical Islamic family. It didn't scare you, right? You know, in everything, when you are embedded with something which is uh, from the bottom of the heart, you don't care wherever you find yourself. Our, my objective as I was brought up is to be an icon of Islam, wherever I find myself. And that's why I had to do everything to defend that religion. Because whoever, whether you come from which religion, wherever you pronounce that religion everywhere, be sure that you are an icon. If you are a failure, the entire background is a failure. And that's why why day, before I left the school, we had about 19 Muslims. Those uh, Muslims who learned that we were practicing under the free canopy of a uh, uh, Catholic institution, they sent their children because they knew that the children were not to be uh, diverted. And then those who reverted because of seeing the principles which Islam has taught me which uh, were being put into practice. So I think in everything, we had to sue a seat in a place that we are celebrating 60 years, uh, first, second, and third of December. I want me to be very, very proud that I passed through an institution where there is an openness. And whoever is going there, if you don't practice your religion, it is you, it is not the institu institution. Now, I want to be more practical, uh, Malam, just to, just to find out. I mean, when you were fasting, during fasting, how did the school treat you in the early hours of the morning? How did they treat you in the early hours? When you wanted to go for your prayer, how were you treated? And all of that put together. Let's just take it, those practical things. Yes, practically, during that period of fasting, they gave me food early in the morning. The cooks were asked to be alert. Whenever I needed tea and food in the morning, they gave me. When I was about to break my fast in the evening, they gave me food. So they gave me a qu quantity in quantity so that I should not complain during the day that I was not fed. So I keep loving that area. If other institutions are doing the same, I think we are beginning to know, uh, understand that we are one person in different diversity, but uh, culminating under a positive dialogue. Yeah, and during the month of Ramadan, I mean, you, you pray more often, and your regular prayers as well. How did you manage all of that? Did you, were you able to manage that as in easily? I mean, like when you wanted to go for prayers the afternoon, in the evening, were you allowed to? They knew the time more than me. Wow. 
There were times at times that they were the one to remind me that it's already time for prayer. Oh. Meaning that it was from the bottom of their heart. They were not doing it because they wanted to maybe make me feel somehow. You know something that emanates from the bottom of their heart. You do it consciously, not unconsciously. You do it willingly and not unwillingly. So they make sure that everything I've given them, they, 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 they put into practice and make sure that they always reminded me, Malam, it is time, oh, it is time, oh. Yeah. So I think I should really celebrate the, the, the six years anniversary with happiness okay. that I passed through an institution where they know that God is one. In the later part of your life, you had to study cooperative religion. Uh, that is, that's what has made you very strong. Uh, and of course, we, we, we cannot ignore the fact that you've dedicated a long time to promote Islam. If I needed to ask you, with out of said bit, uh, globally, if we were to do a comparison now between the other religions and how they see Islam, will you be a comfortable person like you were uh, in 60 years ago? Uh, what is happening today is that uh, there is a lot of uh, hunger and people are chasing the shadow to present a false god by coming up with so numerous names in the name of uh, God. So if we are looking what is today and yesterday, we are living in a different world, maybe fully occupied by the devil, because people want to survive at all costs. Whether it is to take whose name to survive, it is a problem. So that made me, for 33 years now, I'm on CRTV, uh, Norway's. Uh, propagating Islam. I've never been queried. I've never been suspended because I know the material that I need to put forth. So that I should not hurt another religion. Every religion has a right. A no rational being would, would love to follow a religion that at the end you don't see God, except somebody has already been deceived. So this gave me a background doing comparative religion, taken from the Bible, taken from uh, the Quran, taken from African traditional religion. And then we realize even with the Bible, if, there is, if, Muslim, if Islam and Christianity has something different, maybe 10%. So 90%, let's combinate around it and then reunite ourselves and make things to go ahead so that people can unveil themselves with time. Right. When you start by picking where it is negative, you will instead scare people. To thank you very much, Malam, for your time. But we'll not end without some jokes, of course. I mean, 60 years ago, what was your favorite meal in school? Corn chaff. <laughs> Being sometimes, uh, uh, what was the ingredient? Okay. Those, uh, they call it what? Um, tumbona. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. There were ingredients. Yeah. Weevils. <laughs> Weevils. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, <laughs> so that was very, very. The day we had the corn chaff, that was the best meal we had that day. Oh, oh. Uh -huh. Then beans, you look for Garia and soup. Mm -hmm. Your favorite teacher? Favorite teacher? 60 years ago, you remember? Mm, Power some years of late okay. because it was uh, my English uh, uh, teacher. If I'm a bit fluent today in English, it is what. Power soon gave me. Do you remember some prayers of the Catholic Church? Um, the, the ones we learned 60 years ago. Our Father, I see the uh, uh, Matthew 6 that, that's fine, Thank 9 you to 13. <laughs> yes, yes. That is an overall prayer. Yeah, yeah. It does not father. end. Identifying Jesus, our Lord, and all the life. Yeah, it yeah, ends yeah. with a uh, Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, Malam, for your time. Thank you, too. Thank you. Thank you.